Once you have some uniquely shaped objects in your portfolio, you have the option to wrap your text around those images. Uh, you can of course do that with rectilinear ones as well, but with something like this you might be getting a little more creative. So my first example is over here on the right. So, you know, you might have circular objects that you put, you know, materials in, renderings, images, something like that. You know, so something with a shape other than a simple rectangle. So you have that here. Then you might have some text, some description, or something like that that you want to put next to the circle that you have following the curve. Okay, so this is actually pretty simple. What we want to do is find the text wrap menu right here. Uh, we can find that up under window and text wrap. And basically once we have that open, what we're going to do is select the text that we're interested in and we're going to be picking the wrap around the object here. And when I scoot this closer, you'll see that it's wrapping very nicely around my circle. That's very simple. So within this, you know, if I just can scoot this up and down, you'll see how the text follows the shape, at least as best as it can. This is something that's very simple to do um, with a very standard shape in InDesign. So you see if I scoot this in, how it's wrapping around that as well as it can. Okay. While I'm on this, don't forget that you can also put type on a path. So if I wanted to, I could actually type on that path right here and label this um, you know, wallpaper or something like that if I was interested in doing that kind of thing. So I'll just make that bigger so you can see it. You know, I could be doing something like that. So you can see how you can start getting uh, you know, very creative oops, right away. Okay, that's a very simple example. But let's say you've done something a bit more complicated. Uh, you know, for example, we have this, this deer over here. If I want this text to wrap around the deer, you'll see that it's just kind of going behind there right now. Okay. And if I tell this to wrap around the object, it's going to start doing something weird potentially where it's only reacting to the frame or something like that. So what we can do is select this deer silhouette. Then I'm going to come up to the word object. So we want to deal with this object. I will come down to clipping path. So what we want to do is use the clipping path associated with this object. And we're going to go in and change the options. So when you bring in an image, it's going to basically treat everything like a rectangle of some sort. So what we'll do under clipping path is say, not none, but I actually want this to detect edges. Now notice if I created paths in Photoshop that were possibly different than what InDesign might find, I could say, use a Photoshop path, or if you had an alpha channel set up, you could use that as well. But I will simply say detect edges for this example, and you'll see that it found all the edges right there. That's great. You can change the tolerance, you can change the threshold. I could invert it at this point if I wanted to, and you know, do all sorts of things. This will be good enough for now, so I'll say okay. And now notice when I bring my text over, and I select the image and then the text and tell it to wrap around that object. Now I have font that's wrapping around the shape of this deer, which is actually pretty cool. So this would follow it anywhere. Oops, I moved the deer instead. But you can see actually that's a good example. If I move the shape, the text will move with it. So it works both ways. So you can do some very, very interesting things with text by following the shape of an option using its clipping path.